In our previous videos, we demonstrated a fixture that was composed of three different length metal beams or arms. Each of the beams has its own unique resonant frequency. To measure the resonance of a beam, the test engineer attaches an accelerometer to the end of the beam and runs a sine sweep. Comparing the accelerations of the beam to the accelerations of the shaker head across a particular frequency range. However, the mass of the accelerometer can have a significant effect on the measured resonance of the beam. As we pointed out earlier, every spring, every beam, every product has its own resonance based on the material properties of the object, including its mass and shape. An accelerometer has mass, and this added mass changes the properties of the beam, affecting its resonant frequency. This phenomenon is called mass loading. Mass loading is a serious matter to vibration test engineers because it changes the resonant frequency of the device under test, and it makes controlling a test more difficult. In a previous test with our fixture of three different length beams, the accelerometer used was relatively large and had significant mass loading effects. On the first test, the accelerometer was mounted to the end of the longest beam. You can see on the Vibration View software that the accelerometer showed a large resonance at about 12 and a half hertz. But it was also able to pick up where the other beams had resonances. So this peak here and this first peak here were related to the medium length arm and the shorter length arm. Now the amplitudes of these resonances were not accurate because in this particular trial the accelerometer was on the long beam and not on the specific beams and therefore their resonances are not, at least their amplitudes, are not accurate. So in a second test I placed the accelerometer on the shortest beam and ran that sine sweep and here you see the resonance of that shorter beam. And In this case the resonance is around 32 Hertz. Here the shorter beam had a resonance at around 55 Hertz. And the point is that when we added the mass to the short beam it shifted the resonance down from 55 Hertz to approximately 32 Hertz. This is a clear example of the concept called mass loading and how adding a mass to a cantilevered beam lowers the resonant frequency of the beam. Similar effects can occur in other situations. So test engineers should be aware of mass loading effects and consider whether their particular situation would benefit from a non-contact sensor, like for example, a laser vibrometer.